Alright, welcome back to part 12 of Days of Ruin, and we have stuff to kill. We have Spare Lander. Really don't have anything else to carry over here. Tasha gets two cruisers this time. No, don't do that. Drop that there. Drop that there. Actually, it takes away my infantry dropping spot. You go drop yours there. Okay. Go poke him in the face. Good news is he's empty, so we can actually... We could actually let him be. I think I might actually do that. Though... We may as well. See if that's his maximum range or not. Yeah, that's that cruiser's maximum range. Good! Come down there. Pick that up. And we are ready to rock. See, he's using the beast's theme. But she's honest about it. And here comes Ch Tasha. Oh boy. And toss the Senator Cruiser to me. Actually, Tasha made a faux pas. That's gonna be nice. Okay, you can have temporary port there. roll up here. Rock him. Bang. Okay, that's, that's excellent. That's the cruiser dead. Come down here. Ah, hang on to it. You go here. Okay, we got a tank coming. send out small tank as well. Anyway, that's the medium tank. It's a medium tank. Not much to say. It's a medium tank. It's probably going to be our main offensive unit. Because war tanks, although they're powerful, they've got, like, mobility comparable to the uh, mega tank from uh, Advanced Wars. Dual Strike. Yeah. Uh, I'm not thinking straight. And in terms of durability, they're not somewhere between uh, normal and regular advanced wars, medium tank, and neo tank. So they're not actually that great. Davis is gonna, just going to build, take himself a city there, and just chill. We'll smack him in the face. That artillery can't touch us yet. And if it tries, my rocket is gonna touch it. It. Okay, gunboats. Let's get our gunboats in there. Lander for decoy. Hopefully it goes after my landers. I can live with it if it did. Oh god. Ow! Hmm, that's a bit of a problem, actually.
if you take a look at the gunboat, you can actually attack some land units. No, I'm reading that wrong. I don't think it actually can, but... Be safe for roll up and punch you in the face. Where did the other gunboat go? It ran off. could actually try and nick our HQ. It might actually be easier than... Well, that's done, so... Ow. Ow. to do some good damage. Okay, you two are both empty. That's cool. Okay. In case we don't get the kill this turn. That's boom. Boom. Oh, we'll have this done in no time. And boom. And we meet Gage for the first time. Fellow Luzurian. Order some General Forsyth. We'll meet him later. Direct order from Forsyth for Tasha to pull out. And yay! I am satisfied with that. Indeed. So we've drove back Tasha, and here comes Davis. He's commanding the force for Admiral Greyfield, oh boy. Explain, yes. Greyfield took command, formed the new Urbanel army so we can take it to him. We heard some of that from Waylon. The Luzurians started it. Led by General Forsyth, good man. Continue. Now we've got a dilemma in front of us. Do we join Greyfield? History of Hate. I don't actually remember this map. Hmm. Whatevs. Let's do it. Oh god. And this is Admiral Greyfield. Well... 
Don't just stand there like a slack jawed idiot to send him in. Hello, Admiral. So you're the leader of the so called Brenner's Wolves. Frankly, I'm surprised you're still alive. He's a pompous blowhard. Not a good soldier, but crippled by ideological limitations. Blah. Insult? Rules of war. What? Oh, hey, Waylon. Chump's got a point, eh? Oh good, Wayland's here. The sarcasm is dripping off of that text. Of course not, brother man. The ladies of the world thank you, oh god. Everyone's too scared to say boo. Typical. Yeah. Oh, great one? You seem insistent on the fact that it's not our fault. A modicum of help, but we'll have to wait and see. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Now we hear we got a real sea battle. I don't think they did. Or perhaps... Hmm. It is senseless. So now we're forced into a war. Under Will's command here, we got Waylon as allies. Waylon brought bugger all. And we got 12 Tasha units to take out. Interesting, we have new terrain types. Slows the movement of naval units. And mist? That's new. It's hog. pretty much woods of fog of war. I think there's still reefs, yeah. Reefs work too, but occasionally there's mist. Mist is handy. Okay, this is the first we're going to be seeing. This is the first we're going to be seeing battleships. Battleships have undergone a radical change. And uh, here's ours. Yes. See that little range that follows us? We can attack after moving. That is so fuzzing brilliant. I love it. So we have gunboats to deal with. We have to worry about our cru cruisers once again. We now have subs to deal with. can move a good distance here. I want this sub to take out that battleship. That is my desire. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get in here. I'm actually gonna save first. I think I'm gonna get in, since I can't actually get a rig over here, I think I'm gonna get in here, build our support. 
And we can have some fun. But first, War Room. And it is... Oh, it's Isabella. Isabella's back. How to strip and clean a field rifle. How to cook. Oh. Change of plans. We'll talk about cooking. Cooking is still important. Well, thank you, that's high morale. Okay, taking notes. Cooking, well... You need to use whatever is at hand. A rat! Fork it! Today we'll make rat stew. Okay! Or just get the M MGS3 fork and automatically eat anything you poke with your fork. Aw, oh, rat is simulating. Subs die, focus on torpedoing battleships. Good. Cruisers hit subs. Keep copters away from cruisers. And that's it for now. Our rat is burning. I'm really full. Okay. Like, snakes do, frogs do, roach do, and boots do. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh dear. Yeah. When we return, we'll take on that first true naval mission of the game.